Lexington, Kentucky, the horse capital of the world, UK basketball, Keeneland, the Big Blue Building, Town Branch, the infamous Henry Earl, a few things the city is known for. But what about the community staples? Those who have poured into the lives of youth to make for a better world. Like Coach KT Smith and his wife, Miss Ella Smith. The Smiths, along with other notable Lexingtonians, have served the Winburn neighborhood for nearly 30 years. This is a quick look of the history of Parks and Recreation's MLK Broncos football and cheer program. It's my 42nd year at the MLK Broncos, 29 years. We started with the MLK Broncos in 1989. Ella Smith, Charles Fields, and Coach Bubbles, and myself. We have been together since 76. We were with Metathorpe, a Metathorpe football league, and it phased out, and we transferred to MLK Park. Coach uh, KT and Coach Charlie uh, met with Scotty Basler, who was the mayor at that time, and wanted them to start a league at the Winburn Park because that park was barren. We decided that um, Charles would be the supervisor, Coach KT would be the head coach of the park, and I would be the organizer. In the organizational process, I wrote a grant for Parks and Recreation to have two coaches for cheerleading. I do cheerleading. I'm the supervisor. Coach KT went out and got coaches for three different teams, and he uh, called them the <clears throat> Raiders, the Browns, and the Broncos, and the Raiders was the 7, 8, the Browns was the 9 and 10, and the Broncos was the 11 and 12. Maybe 10 or 15 years ago, we decided to make them all Broncos. And it wasn't difficult at that time because we were probably the park, and Douglas Park had phased out as well as Metathorpe. And so we were able to recruit the coaches and recruit the kids, and the and we used to have uh, at least 150 to two, almost 200 kids in the park all the time. Well, my fondest memories is to watch them grow. See the kids going on to the next level. And develop into men and women. I, I run into them all the time at Walmart's, Kroger. The favorite thing is to come back and say, Hi, Miss Ella, how you doing? You don't remember me. I did this and I did that, uh, you know, and I'm doing this and I've got a son that's doing this and a daughter doing that. I was at the barber shop today. Hey, Coach KT. Oh, and, and, and if one didn't come over, I mean, it was at least four or five guys in that barber shop that I had coached. And then there's one guy that played against us. And he said, oh, man, they used to be that till the devil. I've tried to think the oldest youth that we might have is way up in their 50s. Uh -huh. <laughs> and we've had plenty, many high school athletes. We've had many college athletes. And we have a few in the professional ranks. Robert Miller, uh, Demonte Dawson, even, even Cornell Burbage played in our program some time ago. He went to the Dallas Cowboys. We care about more than just football. We care about their education. We care about their character. Uh, Coach KT has been to the school systems a whole lot to get the youth out of problems or to speak on behalf of the youth. Because the primary goal is not just for the adults to enjoy, you know, winning. It's to provide a service for the youth. Well, everything we do, our main focus is the children. They've been able to go to college, and they've uh, been able to go back out into the community and help the other youth. You know, it's like a he ain't heavy situation, you know. We help them, they help someone else. I was always taught from Coach Brown and Coach Passmore and, and my coaches that you got to give back. And I've, you know, worked at VA for 34 years, so I we adopted a program at uh, Winburn, so I used to go there to see a lot of the youth. And we used to have full-fledged tutoring classes up there. I'm trying to get a tutoring program started back again with the Neighborhood Association. We have banquets, we have Halloween parties. Uh, we have parades, they ride on fire trucks. We have homecoming, so we have a lot of variety for the youth other than just football. I truly have missed a trip to Tennessee in 42 years. 
all the expense paid. They ain't got to pay nothing. A lot of the parents haven't seen that, and if they could uh, just see the importance of the growth and development of their youth by coming to our program, maybe it will grow. Now, we won't be there forever because we're getting older. We have a lot of young coaches like Coach Lamar, Jeremy Johns, Coach Robbie, uh, Coach James, Coach T, uh, that's coming up and working their tail off. I will hope to bring some of the older players back who has children. We'd like for the do is them to recycle through and hopefully they will be able to take over when we leave. You gotta pay it forward. If you don't pay it forward in life, it's, it's nothing. <laughs> it's hard to be a Bronco. That's how slow, it's hard to be a Bronco. This family has sacrificed immensely. I didn't know a whole lot about football before I met him. It's hard on my family, it's hard on the people who work with me. I mean, uh, it ain't nobody that's close to me that uh, I have been into it with. But they know I love them. But I met him and he was playing football and that's when we were 15 years of age. So how did you all meet? In high school. What school? <laughs> Dunbar, the old Dunbar school. He uh, was in one citizenship class and I was in another one. And I got transferred to his class. And when I got in there, I was appointed to be in charge of uh, the newspaper class. I would pick on him all the time and make him read and stuff. And he said that I was trying to flirt with him, but that was not true. I had a boyfriend. <laughs> he was at Tuskegee and I was at UK. So then he left Tuskegee after a year and went to EKU, came to EKU. <laughs> and then I went to Kentucky State after we got married. I guess he's been in my life all, his, all of my life and all of his life. I describe him as an excellent coach. Some of the comments and things that have been made is that he's antiquated and his teaching has uh, is passe. Hey. I, I got all the new stuff. Books is coming in here constantly. He really studies the game. All these guys that's uh, putting me down, that saying, you know, antiquated, he's old, he's at, they'll never catch me. I enjoy seeing him coach. Hey, wait a minute. Watch out, what you doing? Come here. Oh man, you let that man get past you. I never seen him have to jump, jump and bump all the time. <laughs> They'll never catch me in wins. They'll never catch me in championships. Because for one thing, I, I just don't believe that they're dedicated. And he has had the opportunity in the past to go to middle school, but he refuses. He loves parks and recreation. We won more games. I mean, they, they win in championships now. We won more championships that anybody in this city and anybody that will come behind me and do it. We won our first one in 1986, 11 0, come back 87, one of them, 11 0, one of them in 89, 92. But he has a wealth of knowledge. I have been voted in the College Hall of Fame. And also, I went to Canton, Ohio, and was voted in the Professional Hall of Fame. So, you know. Big bridges, they gotta get in them. They, uh, they hustling backwards, but they ain't gonna catch me. I said, you know, I'm getting old and you are too. And I said, if you don't quit, I don't quit because it's still gonna be in this house. And so my whole life is still gonna be centered around it, so I might as well be there. I stay in it because I love what I do and I love the kids. Coach KT loves the kids and he loves football. We are a family up there. And that's another thing. It's the last as I'm saying. We have a park and we have a relationship that's built on love. And no other park can demonstrate that. I've heard people go away. I know someone went away this year and they say, hey, I, I, I don't see the love down there that y'all have. Don't have no love. We have love. And love is the ultimate thing.